Hello and welcome to episode 43 of series 5 of Master League Story Mode and I feel a lot like Facundo Cobos feels in that picture there. I think that's Cobos. I'm pretty sure it is. Dejected, defeated in a Wolverhampton Wanderers game that we had a million, somewhere approaching the low millions of chances. It was insane. We just couldn't finish. John Ruddy was Superman in goal. And yeah, it was tough. And actually, you know, a lot of people mentioning in the comments that that is the AI cheating. Now, I think cheating is a difficult word for the AI. I, generally, actually, I had a comment actually from Chevalier, longtime commenter, really great commenter. And he said, you never talk about this, but could you tell me your opinion about using AI gameplay mods? Well, I mean, I'm a PS4 player, so I don't really have even the opportunity to do that. But I think in general, yeah, you get crazy games like that, but you get crazy games in real life. Let's go and have a look at the league. I mean, it does seem like, you know, the good teams eventually win. Maybe it is a bit hard when you're playing them, but look at that. Liverpool, Manchester City atop the league. I mean, it's a bit unrealistic that Arsenal are only five points behind, but other than that, Wolves, that could conceivably happen. You know, Everton up there, yes, that's fine. It's, it's all pretty realistic. And I, I guess sometimes you do get games where it feels like the... AI is against you, like the computer's against you, like you can't win. And actually, I have said that maybe my one criticism would be that often playing against the bottom half of the table teams can be more difficult. Sometimes it can be easier to get a result against top of the table sides. So, yeah, it's not perfect, but I've enjoyed it this year. I have. You know, you've all watched every game I've played. Yes, we've had some tough ones. Yes, we've had some ones that felt a little unfair, but we've also snuck wins. We've also snuck draws where maybe we shouldn't have done. I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty basic. I've said this before. I'm a bit of a basic bitch when it comes to pairs. I, I maybe don't have the insight that some YouTubers or other you know, streamers have where they know the, down to the individual pixel whether things have changed that much. I don't know. I just enjoy playing and uh, enjoy making up stupid stories. And that's why you're here today to find out what happens next in this stupid story. Marcelo Bielsa's story. Well, Southampton at home. They're in 15th. They've lost 13 games this season. It should be doable. And then Everton. That's going to be an interesting one because they're right in and amongst it for that ninth place spot that we really need. So, yeah, these could be, could be tricky games. As I said, Southampton, a sort of mid-table side, could be a potential banana skin. Let's go and have a look at the sides for today. Few concerns in the last episode around Edson Alvarez. He's not had the glittering start to his career in Yorkshire that we would have liked. He's made a few high profile mistakes that have cost us. They have cost us, well, I wouldn't make, yeah, they have cost us games actually. But I don't think we want to bring Pontus back in. Uh, although Alvarez is on a downward arrow, we'll trust in him for a little bit more. Some poor form going on today, which isn't ideal. Uh, Juan brunetta has got a start on a blue arrow. He's one player we can depend on. And then I think we'll keep things as they are. Uh, Shakiri on a downward arrow, we're going to bench him. Uh, Mendes, I think, starts over Callum. He was excellent. Callum on the bench again. Maxi Romero has been in great goal-scoring form, scoring some incredible goals. It's not ideal. Oh, yeah, we want to make him captain, don't we? He needs to be our captain. There we are. Does that help team spirit at all? No, it doesn't yet, but he is the fighter. Actually, we need to make that permanent when we get a chance. But other than that, 88 team spirit, I think that's fine. Uh, Southampton, Danny Ings up top, Redmond, good, decent centre-back duo, but we should be winning this really, come on. So my good friend Shogun pointed out that we had the Brexit bench. I mean, it's sort of the Remain bench, isn't it? All of our English players on the bench. Do we have any English players starting today? Hey, we do. Lookman, Lookman starts today ahead of Shakiri. So we've got one Brit in there. Not that I'm particularly bothered about that, but it is quite amusing that all of our British players on the bench... And, uh, well, it's mainly South Americans, but there is Lookman. He needs a good game, actually. He's not been great. He needs to score some goals. He's got finishing in his locker. Can you get one today? Right, let's go. Alvarez solidly in there. Kobos looks up. Finds a beautiful ball. Cross pitch to Son. What a, what a touch that is from the South Korean. Looks to cut inside. Loses out to Vestergaard. Unlucky. Martinez says, thank you, Danny. I'll have that. He puts the ball over the top. I think Romero's just snuck offside here. Oh, we will get there. Oh, come on. I hate the late flag. Why'd you do that? He's well off. He's, oh, he's not that far off. It annoys me when they leave it that long. That was wasted energy there for Maxi. Martinez, good ball. Cobos into Lutman. Cuts back, finds Lutman again. His first touch takes him away from the Southampton defender. To the line now, looks to cut inside. Oh, great power. 
Cuts it back to Brunetta on the turn. And the shot is a weak one in the end. Difficult. Really far behind him. Nathan Redman now. There's a few men forward here from Southampton. Oh, lovely return ball there. Davis. Oh, my God. What are you doing? Oh, my God. Romero missed that completely. Oh, Son's won it back. Oh, we've got a really great opportunity here. Lutman. Played through by Son. It's a great ball. Now Adelma Lutman into the box. Can he finish this off here? Lutman. Oh, oh my God. So much time. Just couldn't finish it off. So first half nearly over here. It's been a poor first half from both sides, really. Kobos can bring it forward now. We've got an opportunity here with Lutman. Can he put the simple ball through to Maxi Romero? Oh, that's poor. That's really poor. Oh, we switched off here. Ball into wings, end of the half, Danny Ings, oh, come on, we really switched off there, half was nearly over, it just hit us on the counter, simple ball into wings, it's Martinez over to get him, I mean Danny Ings is a good finisher, beats Romero and what a time to concede, just before the end of the half, that is awful, and although we've had the possession here in snowy leads, done nothing with it only one shot on target we really need to improve I still think we can win this just really need to pull our finger out Alvarez into Lutman oh can't quite find Kobos but we do get it back and that's a lovely ball from Brunetta into Maxi Romero on the downward arrow today and that's not going to help him in those situations it's unlucky we will get the throw here though it's going to be Son into Thiago Mendes. Lovely first touch from him. He'll put a ball in. Looking for Maxi Romero. <laughs> I think he was lining up for the uh, acrobatic bicycle kick there. Kobos inside. Romero cuts back. Maxi Romero. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not Maxi Romero. That's not the fighter. New captain of the side that we know. Should have done better than that. Must have had snow in his eyes. Let's see here. Came into him. Lovely turn back inside. That's absolutely classic Maxi. Except for the finish. Kobos into Juan Brunetta. He'll turn and look to run at him here. Juan Brunetta inside. Looks for Son. Not the best idea, but Mendes will sweep it in with the left foot. <laughs> well, I think Brunetta could have gone alone there, but it was a nice pass to find Son in a lot of space. His low ball found Mendes well. Ah, it's smart, actually. Smart play from Brunetta. It's well cut back. Actually, Mendes forcing the save. Bernardo really nicely done there. Now Brunetta. Will steam forward. It's opened up for Juan Brunetta here with the left. Lutman cuts back. No, why didn't you hit that? Why? Why did you try and cut back? Ah, oh, we're ruining chances here. We've had enough. Ball into Juan Brunetta. He'll turn. Brunetta. Oh, good hit. Good save again. Brunetta looking the most likely to do any damage here for Leeds. We're leaving this very, very late. The Ellen Road fans getting restless. 68 minutes gone. Had a lot of corners. Can we do something with this one? No, we can't. Kobos edge of the box, though. We'll give it a go. <laughs> a little slice of luck for Leeds United. Gets us the equaliser. And it is for Kundo Kobos. He's, he continues to pop up with important goals. This one, I mean, it's took a big deflection there. I think off Nathan Redmond, maybe. But that's what we needed. A little bit of luck. Now let's go and win it. Oh, well, Yanusi played through. Mendes is there with him. Back inside. That's really well worked. Ings lays it off. David. Oh, that's a great goal. But fuck me. They really decided to be clinical in attack. Might be their second chance of the game. Thiago Mendes is done there. But that's a lovely cutback from Ings. And Davis with a good finish. Fuck. Well, as soon as we're back into it, we're back behind. We need to get another. Mendes, great ball into Lutman. Oof, can't get to it, though. Strong defending. That's a lovely ball into wings. I will get away with that somehow. Oh, fuck off. No. <laughs> wow, he's missed it. Wow, could that be the lifeline we needed? Somehow, they didn't score. I will never know. What a touch from Danny Ings. And what a save from Romero. That actually was a world-class save. Bernardo, big header. Brunetta can pick it up. Pushes it through to Maxi Romero. One-on-one. -on -one. No. Maxi, the poor form, has come to haunt us there. He should have finished that. So it's Patterson, Shakiri, and Harrison on. That's a great trio to bring on with 10 minutes left. Can we find a crucial equaliser here? Here is Judge Shakiri. First touch of the ball for the Swiss. Into Son. Oof. Son moved into the centre forward position with Romero off the pitch. It's a good opportunity there. 
Couldn't finish it off though. Shakiri now will bring it over the halfway line. This is pretty much time up here for Leeds United. Can we play in Kobos? One chance to level things up here. Oh, yes. A brace for Facundo Kobos. An unlikely hero in this game. But two crucial goals from the Argentinian wing back. We've hit him on the break there. Jean Shakiri just held off the defender enough to put it into Kobos. No other option here. But to put his laces through, it's a great finish. Southampton, look at how disappointed they are. And rightly so. They've not managed many wins this season, but they look to be on for one today. Leeds United just failing to finish any of their chances to get back into this. With only seconds left, Kobos levels it up. It now turns into a really valuable point. But at the beginning of the game, it should have been three. It's got to be a disappointment, really, for Bielsa. Shakiri into Son. Could there be a late winner here? Son flicks it in, looking for Patterson. Oh, no. We should have done better with that. That was one chance there to win the game. Oh, should have just maybe gone for it. Been a bit more ruthless there. Son checked back. There was... Wow. I mean, that is a game full of chances. Had way more possession, though. It's weird. We did have four corners as well, and we just created nothing from that. We've got no aerial threat, really. Son and Romero. Poor games from them. They missed a lot of chances. You can see why they got 5.5s. Thiago Mendes, not great today either. Um, Alvarez had a slightly better game. Danny Ings was incredible, though. Rolling back the years there. Actually, he's not even that old, is he? Shakiri came on, made a difference. That's all we can ask for him. Everton now has to be a win, though. And we're going to slip further and further down with that. Oh, no, we stay in ninth. That's where we need to be. But Brighton, only one place below us. So today, we're up against Everton. They're on the same points as us. Uh, they've won one less game this season. But they've drawn a few more. Their goal difference is substantially better. As is Brighton's. Well, actually, no, Brighton... Only two goals ahead of us. We need to start scoring some goals, really. Fulham, look at that. In 12th with a minus six goal difference. That's pretty impressive. But we still are only five points off sixth place Spurs. So, you know, it still could all change. We just need to put a run of form together. We've struggled to do that in the latter part of this season. We've got a nice long break now. Let's recharge our batteries. Let's come back strong. We are away from home. It's not a massive trip. This is suddenly a game that's very, very important. Everton with Divock Origi up top. Oh, yeah, of course. We swapped Lookman for Origi, didn't we? Bit of a grudge match here. And Lookman on a poor form. Well, he's out of the side straight away. It's unlucky. He won't be playing against his old side. Um, Shakiri out into the wing. Brunetta will start an attacking midfield. Thiago Mendes has to start on a blue arrow. Um, Thiago Mendes could play attacking midfield, but he's not quite Brunetta, is he? I think we'll be happy with everyone else here. Um, Everton, a great side. Yeri Mina and Keane, solidity there, at least in this. Maybe not in real life. Um, Andre Gomez, Tom Davis, some real class. Central midfield, Bernard, Walcott, tricky, but with no end product. Sigurdsson, no legs, but wow, well, he can hit a ball. Got Richarlison on the bench, Tosin to come on, but Divock Origi, is he going to make us pay for selling him? I feel like probably yes. Let's just hope not. I have to say I was a little bit disappointed with Maxi Romero's first game as the Leeds United captain handed the armband by Marcelo Bielsa. He's still young, but he leads by example normally with his performances on the pitch but he just couldn't really pull it together in the last game he's on better form today we really need his goals and we need Shakiri to show something today he got the assist an important assist in the last game can he add a goal to that now still yet to score his first goal for the club oh Alvarez reads that really well and he'll power forward now options in the box fighting with the oh Brunetta with the right oh, gets the shot off and it's off the Everton defender's face Alvarez powered forward, held off Chambers Coleman really well. Didn't really do much with it, but it fell to Brunetta. Hits it with the right, and it's out for a corner. Oh, what a ball into Divock Origi. Good first touch from him. Under pressure. Oh, Bernardo just does enough to prevent Sigurdsson getting to that. Thankfully, we could have been in a lot of trouble there. Now Shakiri though, just weighing up his options here. Back inside of Walcott. Oh, we beats him again. Still Shakiri onto his left. Oh, oh my god. What a goal that would have been. Just wasn't to be though. Off the post. Sean Shakiri dancing his way through the Everton defence. Mendes great turn. Ball into the box. Pickford saves it. Wow. What an opportunity that was there for us to take the first goal. Oh, it's fallen kindly to Origi here. 
Next leads man, brings it forward. Great opportunity here for Theo Walcott. Lays it back to Sigurdsson. Alvarez not playing any of those games today. Wins that back confidently. Shakiri returns passes with Brunetta. That's a lovely ball into Mendes. No. Just messed that up there. And it's half time here in Liverpool. And it's been pretty dull, really. Pretty dull. Leeds United with the best chances. Everton have created absolutely nothing. Shakiri almost scored a wonder goal just off the post. I think we've got a good chance of winning this, but I do feel we could easily get caught on the break. I just know Origi is going to have a chance in this game. I just have a horrible feeling he's going to take it. Davis, dangerous here. Walcott does well to get to that ahead of Kobos. Oh, it's a great ball into Divock Origi. Throw on goal. That's a good save. Could be the chance that we that was going to have. Mendes, great ball out from the back into Son. Cuts back inside. That's a great ball to find Brunetta. We've got options all over the place here. Brunetta finds Jean Shakir. Oh, what is that? Shakiri back to Brunetta. Ah, oh. Yeri Mina read that. Like a badly written book, but Pizarro nicks it back. Romero, can he get away from Yerry Mina? No, he can't. Oh, Pizarro wins that back well. Romero into Som. It's for Kobos. Moves on to Shakiri. Lovely passing here from Leeds United. Ball in, looking for Maxi Romero. Keen is across. Some very good defending from Everton today. We've been creating all the chances. Shakiri again into Kobos. To the line now. Puts a good ball in. Looking for Romero. Coleman gets to it. Mendes can keep it alive. Brunetta flicks it over. Hits it. <laughs> wow. Juan Believable. That would have been absolutely... That would have been more than Juan Believable. Really great play there. Just inventive stuff from Brunetta. Flicks it over. It's an easy save for Pickford in the end. But we put him under pressure. Bernardo. Great header. Kobos. Lovely turn. And now Kobos can bring it forward. He's been a standout player in the last few games. It's for Brunetta. Back into Facundo Kobos. Gets the shot off. Maxi Romero. Oh, Pickford save. <laughs> really great save there by the England number one. Back pedalling, but still managed to save the rebound. Oof, the shot just, get, just cannoned off Yerry Mina. Tight angle for Romero. Great save, though. Patterson, the substitute. Brunetta now can play it through. Into Mendes. Mendes cuts inside. Thiago Mendes. Oh, puts it wide. Great opportunity there. <laughs> Come on. Son inside to Brunetta. Great opportunity here. Shakiri. No, Keane gets there. How does he get there? How? <laughs> oh, my God. It's not going to happen, is it? It's going to be a point. Oh, Balassi has played through. Don't do this now. No! Oh my god. Off the post. Jesus Christ. That was almost an awful end to this game. Shakiri inside to Brunetta. Can we find something late on here? Maxi Romero taken out by Keane. And then another tackle by Keane who really wants to keep this at nil-nil. He gets a yellow card there and rightly so. The two dangerous challenges in a row. Two minutes left in this one. What can we conjure up? So this game ticks away. Shakiri away from Coleman. Cuts back. Brunetta now looks for Son. Son with the... Oh, could fall to... No! <laughs> Callum Patterson couldn't get there. Ah, oh, it's not going to happen, is it? Shakiri into Romero. Flicks it over looking for Shakiri. Coleman will clear away. And that is nil-nil. Two points from a possible six in this episode. We just couldn't find our shooting boots today. Seven shots on Pickford's goal. I mean, Pickford did play well. He gets a seven, and rightly so. But we never really looked like scoring. This is a difficult period here for Marcelo Bielsa. And that's not going to be good enough. Well, it is good enough to keep us there. Luckily, Brighton also failing to pick up more than a point. We stay static with Everton there. And that's it. It's between us and Brighton, Everton and Palace. That's going to be the teams we need to beat. We probably have Brighton and Palace still to play. So monthly report, two wins, two draws, one loss. It's a pretty average month, isn't it, really? Kobos with two assists and two goals. He's been a great player for us. But no sign of Jordan Shakiri anywhere in that, and that is not ideal. And look at that, Maxi Romero, 25% shooting. He's taking a lot of chances, not putting them away with the ruthlessness that he did early on. And yeah, just, not, just poor finishings. Look at that, Son, 14%. He's had seven chances. Only scored once. Callum Patterson's been... 
trying but failing to score goals as usual. Um, Bernardo looking strong at the back. Alvarez winning a lot of tackles. That's good to see, actually. It's maybe starting to disprove some of the just general hunches I had about him. Cobos looking good in terms of passing and dribbling. Very, very good success rate for dribbles. 85%, but yeah, it's been a very average month, and that shows up in the stats. No one performing any higher than they need to be, really, just to keep us just about head above water at the moment. And yeah, next episode, the Brighton game is going to be absolutely massive. This is a Bielsa keeping his job six-pointer. And then we've got Cardiff City as well, a game we should be winning. Well, it's not really working, is it, at the moment? Join me in the next episode to see if we can turn things around. I'll see you in a bit.